Good afternoon, I'm Jack Keenan in today for Waverly Monroe. We begin in Lincoln where Nebraska lawmakers just advanced the bill that would ban gender altering procedures for those under the age of 19. The bill is known as the Let Them Grow Act and it advances on a vote of 30 to 17. LB 574 is sponsored by Omaha Senator Kathleen Kalth. It also provides for civil penalties for doctors or counselors who offer gender altering procedures to those under 19. Kalth has said children cannot fully appreciate the consequences of the procedures and the bill is designed to protect them. The Nebraska and American Medical Associations oppose it. Now the votes just took place minutes ago. First, a vote to end debate succeeded with 33 senators voting in favor. Supporters needed that 33 vote threshold. From there, 30 senators voted to advance the measure to the second round of debate. Supporters did not join in the discussion this morning, leaving the floor to those opposed to the measure. They appealed on personal levels and suggested the bill would lead to legal challenges. Omaha State Senator Megan Hunt, who yesterday told the legislature she has a trans son, said by advancing this measure, she'll make sure the rest of the session is derailed. We've made it clear that this is a line in the sand. And people have said, well, what if we go after your bills? What if we put a bunch of bills introduced by progressives up on the agenda? Are you going to filibuster those too? Yeah. Yes, because we're not like you. We have a principle and a value that actually matters that much to us that we're willing to stand up for. This shouldn't be the hill to die on. It puts at risk property tax relief. It puts at risk ARPA decisions. It puts at risk workforce development. It puts at risk our budget. It puts at risk everything before this body. You are responsible for your vote. You are responsible for how you treat your colleague, Senator Hunt, and whether or not you support taking away her parental rights. <laughs> For physicians that are out there that are part of the American Academy for Pediatrics, the AMA, the Endocrine Society, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, American Academy of Family Physicians, and the American Psychiatric Association, and American Psychological Association, and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, I apologize because we cannot call you reputable because we clearly are disagreeing in opposition of what you're saying. And again, the vote just moments ago, 30 Nebraska state senators vote to advance the bill banning gender altering procedures for those under the age of 19. It faces two more votes in the legislature.